Hey y'all, I am here with a review for the 2019 VMAs. So this video is going to kind of be like broken up because I'm going to be like recording in between the breaks. So whenever I watch, you know, something, I'm going to record in between the breaks and stuff like that. If I don't talk about it, it wasn't important to me. It's not because I missed it. It's because it was not important to me. Nine times out of ten, I'm not going to color Taylor Swift. Guess what? Because she's not important to me okay so let's see let, let me talk about real fast what we did see so we are at the pre-show and let me say something i never watched the pre-show ever watch anybody's pre-show i be there to see somebody perform they said meg the stallion was going to perform but i swear i just seen on twitter that she already did so i'm a little confused and we only got like 17 minutes to the show start but let me say this normani i'm clipping in right now when i first see normani Oh my gosh! Look how good she looks! Look at her body! Normani, you fucking you, you perfect ass black ass Barbie doll! Look at that outfit! Look at her body! Ooh. Like I said, she looks like a black barbie doll that outfit is giving me life her body is on 10 i cannot wait to see her perform i am literally tweaking one performance i did see though on the um on the pre-show that i thought was cute was c and c oh i've never heard of those people a day in my life they um that they're it i think they're latina i think they're like latina group because spanish-speaking group um but they were killing it like their whole little walk up to the stage like their their performance it was cute for it to be a pre-show and they was dancing down like they was dancing like we're gonna make it to the main stage next year we're gonna make it to the main stage next, to, uh, next year so they was cute then oh something that uh oh, something that just had it popped out to me because i had it on mute because i'm doing other things but i seen that mark jacobs you know was on the screen and he had a whole bunch of people with him and i seen charlie y'all oh my gosh if y'all watch um little kim's um girls cruise charlie was there with his bae yes watch look at charlie y'all from um from from uh from, from, uh, from little kim's girls cruise look at them together oh my gosh look at him he looks so dapper yes Yes, Charlie, Charlie, you look amazing. You look amazing. I'm so glad that Mark has you by his side. You look dashing. I love you, bro. You look amazing. So I will be back. Um, You know, it's just about to start. I think I like 10 minutes, so I'll be back, y'all. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So the first part, it just went to commercial. So um, I said in the last part that I wasn't sure if Meg was going to perform. Meg did perform on the pre-show. She performed Cash It, which I think is really good because I know that she's doing the video for Cash It with the baby. So, yes, put the song out there for people who don't know. Cash It is my shit. That's one of the best songs on the album. She looked amazing. All right. So I'm not going to They started off with Taylor Swift, and I'm not going to lie. I'm very happy that they did that so that she... I, so I don't have to worry about her being on my screen for the rest of tonight. So when I seen her, I was like, yes, Taylor, let's get you out the way. I'm so sorry. I'm not a big fan of Taylor. The performance gives me Madonna tease, which is the fact that everything around her, everything surrounding her, I see you, Todrick, everything around her, the graphics, wonderful. But you, sis, you are lacking energy, sis, and you don't give me what it is that I need. She didn't give me what the fuck it is. Honestly, I wasn't looking for anything for her, but if I was, she didn't give it to me, okay? And then she walked up and did some little slow song, which... I mean, the only person that I can really take doing a slow song at an award show is her. And that's because that's like her whole little vibe. But you, Taylor, no. Bye, bye, bye. Thanks so much. Next. Okay. Then after that, we had, um, so, oh my gosh, no. The host. The host is going to irk me. I didn't even know who he was. Nobody knew who he was. Apparently, he's some comedian, but he's not freaking funny because I didn't find him funny. He wasted our time for a good five minutes. Why can't I? think maybe y'all just shouldn't have hosts i really think maybe i shouldn't just have hosts because y'all can never get it right when it comes to the host and i know it's a hard job but i'm tired of the bullshit okay then we had um rick ross and peppa from salt and peppa come up and they gave an award peppa you looked a hot mess ross you looked clean um and they gave out an award for best hip-hop and my baby mama cardi won cardi looked amazing as she normally does the money video it's like she said seeing how this is about video music videos 
she deserved that damn award she deserved it because money was an outstanding video outstanding video so we on break i'll be back y'all Hi right, y'all, I'm back. So, um, so we had BB Rexa come out and she presented Sean Mendez. Before I before I get into that, when ASAP Ferg was on the pre-show doing like his little interview or whatever with Nessa, which Nessa looked amazing, um, BB Rexa came smooth out of nowhere and hugged the most like Ferg. The one thing I will say about the VMAs and shows like this, it really blows my mind, like the people like the celebrities that are like friends with each other. Like I would never thought BB Rexa in ASAP Ferg were cool. Like, they were really super cool. But anyway, she introduced Shawn Mendes. Shawn Mendes came out. He did what Shawn Mendes do. But she's saying, Shawn Mendes, is, he's cute enough to me. You know, he can sing well enough. Um, I know a lot of people feel like, you know, he's gay. We're just going to put that out there. I don't know how true that is. I'm not here to judge nobody. But apparently, he's with Camila Ka one, two, three. I don't, I don't, I don't like Camila Camila. I don't, I don't like her. I don't, I, I didn't like her when she was in Fifth Harmony at all. Um, had a bad attitude in my opinion. Um, so yeah, he came out. He performed. What I will say is that the sets this year are actually really, really nice. Like it's very vibrant and it's very like interactive. Like even um. Even, like, when they were doing, like, uh, like the best hip-hop award or whatever, and, like, when you seen, like, the little helicopter holding, like, the visuals is on point this year. Like, y'all put some money into it. Oh, forget all of that. Bitch, did my bitch Meg Thee Stallion came out, which, yes, bitch, to be on the main stage. And she won, I think, for, like, female empowerment. She won for How Girl Summer. I don't care what she won for. She deserved just to get recognized. And she brought out Lizzo. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something about Lizzo. You know, it took me a minute to get into Lizzo only because I, it wasn't her. Her, she is perfection to me, but it was her music that I couldn't really, like, get get into too much. But I had to go back and I really listened. Um, Yes, that, she goes off. She came out, I believe it's called Love Her. She did that. She did her, you know, her, her themes. You could have had a bad bitch. I love when she says that. Because it, it's facts. You could have had a bad bitch. She came out and then she did, I think it's called Good As Hell. When I'm telling you, she had that place rocking. Queen Latifah was so proud, you could tell. Um, which I'm wondering, why do they keep showing Queen Latifah? Is it because she's from Jersey and they're gonna have a Jersey moment? I don't know. We'll see. But Lizzo rocked that. She looked amazing. I was waiting for her to take off that coat, and it's so dope. Like the her her dancers, they kind of like had on stuff that was like like clouds, and she was in all yellow, kind of like the sun. Yo, she needs to like like go on like like a like a motivational tour. Like she makes me feel so good about myself she makes me feel like bitch i could do anything man fuck the rest of these people and you could tell she had everybody in that arena fucking rocking they was all rocking black white straight gay in between they were all rocking because lizzo is just that fucking positive i'm gonna clip in the part of her performance like she she just gives all the energy that she needed all i needed for her to do was to take out that flute and start a twerking and i would have been here for it i would have been here for it all right y'all let's see who's next all right y'all so we had the jonas brothers they performed now the jonas brothers is from jersey so they didn't actually perform at the actual stadium they performed at like some little club and then they went outside it's kind of like on the beach um i am madly in love with nick jonas and i have been since i was a since i was a child okay he's always been the finest one to me i believe me and him are the same age so but you want to know it but i live for his wife so i can't i can't even but nick jonas is super fucking fine like he's super fine to me okay all right their perfume went, their performance it was cute i like the, i like sucker i like that song so it's cool and i especially like the video um then what else happened after that oh after that that is when billy ray okay came out and you know he presented little nas x now he said he was performing now i now when billy was up there i'm like well he can't be performing old town road because then you would be on the stage with him no 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 <laughs> he performed panini and let me tell y'all something y'all need to go and listen to his little ep it's only like seven songs but panini knocks i'm telling you right now panini say to me what you want <gasps> i see normani i see normani i see i'm, I'm sorry I, I see normani and i just had a heart attack say to me 
you what you now his mic was not on but that's okay because he was giving us choreo he was giving us visuals like let me show y'all Yes, like, and, and that's only, like, a part of it. He, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Normani keeps popping up on my screen. I'm just gonna have to cover her face because I cannot do this video and Normani's beautiful ass is talking, okay? So, yeah, but, um, he killed it. He killed his, but he did so good. He did way better than I thought. I was very, very surprised. Like, he was hitting the choreo. Like I said, the visual was on point. Mike wasn't on, but that's okay because I see what he was doing. And it came together all, it came all together very, very, very well. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful performance. Um, I believe after that, I don't have my notes in front of me, y'all, so if I miss something, I'll come back and I'll say it again. But, um, uh, they did, like, a little quick shot, like, about, like, the tribute, you know, to Missy Elliott. So you had, um, Timberland, of course, speaking. Justin Timberlake spoke. Sierra got really emotional. Because, I mean, like everybody said, like, no lie. She, this is the most over overdue award, period. There's, Missy should been should have been, like, third or fourth in line to get this damn video. Busta Rhymes better be next year, too. Because, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and go off for 10 minutes. But we all know that Missy Ellie is legend when it comes to fucking videos. Did y'all just see that video that she put out? She put out the throw it back just to remind y'all little ass kids what it is that she do. She was doing double dutch with her hair. Who thinks of some shit like that? Only the icon. And then Janet popped her face up for a cute little second. I cannot wait till she perform. I know it's going to snatch my wig. I'm out, y'all. I'll be right back. Missy just took everything that I had. She took everything that was left in me. I can't even run down her performance. But when I'm telling y'all I was in here super fucking hype. I know my neighbors was like, what is this bitch in here yelling about? I fucking caught it. She started out with, I'm not going to get all the songs because I was way too hype. But she started off with the throw it back. They really snatched the wigs like they did in the video. Epic. Then she went into, I can't stand the rain. Ugh, me, I'm super fly, super. Do what? What the fucking bag? What the fucking trash bag thingy on? Yes, she came out. She did that. She did work. Y hold on, y'all. When Allison Stoner brought her white ass out on that stage and started breakdancing, I literally shed a fucking tear. <sighs> y'all don't understand the impact that that has. The 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 the, the gravity that that has. Allison Stone, go back and watch the working video and all of the stuff like that. She was killing. I remember the first time I said, who is this little white girl getting it, getting it? She always been fucking with Missy ever since she was a little girl. Me and Allison Stone, like I said, I think it's about maybe about the same age. She's been rocking with her since she was super, super young. And the fact that she was on there... I cried. I, no lie. I shed a whole ass fucking tear. Did she? She did all her shit. She did everything. She did Hot Boy. She did my, my favorite song by Missy is Lose Control with her and Sierra Academy Scoop. That's my favorite shit because the choreo. Everybody here getting out of control. Getting your backs off the walls. Mr. Nina said, So everybody step, step. Yo, everybody step, step. Everybody step, step. Oh, everybody. Now get your back on the wall. Get your back on the wall. I'm okay now. But when I'm telling you, yes, yes, okay? Then Cardi came out and Cardi gave her, you know, her award. Um, I thought that was cute. Cardi looks, Cardi look nice. She always look good. Um, she came out and she thanked everybody. Yo, she, I was wondering if she was going to thank them. She thanked Kid Fury and Crystal. Kid Fury and Crystal, I know they don't like to say, you know, that, you know, that they've made it. Y'all have made it. Missy Elliott thanked y'all. Kid Fury and Crystal. When she got her fucking, an icon award. Are you serious? Y'all too? Are the shit and y'all have made it if y'all don't know who kit fury and crystal is they have this um podcast called a read if y'all don't know kit fury he's og youtube og youtube og youtube and it was like one of the first people that was like really campaigning hard for her to get you know her award like no lie they was one of the first people to really campaign hard for her to get an award um 
and next year we'll be coming for Busta Rhymes. That's right, Busta Rhymes is absolutely. And I'm glad, and Missy, Missy pointed him out. She said, somebody videos that I looked at, like some of the people is Busta Rhymes, and I believe that he deserves next. He sure the hell do. I'm, I'm done with this show. I'm not coming, I'm not reviewing nothing else once I come on here other than Norman Mon because I've seen all I need to see oh Taylor Swift won for video for good I don't care she let Todrick speak as long as she didn't open up her mouth I didn't care but I'm not coming back so I want to let y'all know the rest of this show I'm not freaking reviewing I'm only gonna come back when Norman Mon has come up all right okay I'm out hey y'all okay I know I said I wasn't gonna um review the rest of this show but I'm just gonna run through it really fast so best song was presented by Kiki Palmer and Oak Town Road won that. Um I love little Nas X. He's such a troll. He brought out like this little squirrel. I love him. I stand. Um then Lenny Kravis came out and introduced her. I forgot that her was performing. Her performance, it, it, it was okay. It was cute. I've seen her have better performances, but her background singles were harmonizing, okay? Then we had Mon Mon. I'm gonna give y'all where I was. Bitch, the queen is here. She's already on top of the damn basketball court. Oh, bitch. This is already iconic. I feel it. Oh, shit. That's where I was when she started. Okay, that's where I was. Um, I thought Normani's performance, she did lip sync, but I gave her an okay for that because she was like doing back bends and lips and stuff. It really pretty much was just like the video, but on stage, um, that's good in the sense of because girl, I know you was actually doing the other stuff, but I don't know. I feel like I wanted something else from, from, from Norman Mon, but what she gave me, it was enough. What she gave me was better than Camila Cabello from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and her fake ass relationship with Shawn Mendes. That's what I realized this whole shit. That relationship between her and Shawn Mendes, which I didn't even know was a real thing until tonight. Oh, that's an industry relationship. That's not real. Um. Then what else we got? The Sopranos came out. Um, some of the people from The Sopranos. And I actually just started watching The Sopranos last year i think um i like rewatched it and stuff like that classic show um because when it when it was like really at a tight i was way too young to be watching it um so they came out and they gave out best pop best pop uh jonas brothers won for sucker which i felt like they should work and i seen my boo boo uh santa i seen i seen you sophie i seen you boo you look good um then I don't know why they did it this way. I don't know if it was because they were short on time, but they cut real fast to Mark Jacobs giving his speech towards the end about, because he won like the fashion trailblazer. I remember I said earlier in the pre-show, he had his boo-boo with him. Um, then Big Sean and ASAP Bird came out and they did a performance. I mean, it was cute enough. I thought it was funny when they both started to try to dance. That was cute. It it was the hip hop part of the night, <laughs> the rappers part of the night. Um, and then pretty much to close the show, you know, we had Redman, we had Fetty, we had Wyclef Jean, we had Queen Latifah, we had Naughty by Nature. All of these people are from Jersey because that's where the awards was held. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. I will say, hmm, I didn't watch last year because I believe Game of Thrones was coming on around this time last year. So, I didn't watch it last year. Um... I mean, I would give this award a C, a C, because I wasn't completely bored, but I could have had more, all right?